I'm here at HPE Discover with Brian Jaco, and user experience is not typically something that you think about being important to the server world. Yeah. Uh, lots of cables poking out of the back and, yeah. and command lines and things like that, but you are kind of leading the charge to make user experience better. Can you talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. One of the things that we know is that as customers interact with systems today, their expectations are changing. It used to be that they would get a lot of training they would get highly uh, skilled in whatever art it is that they're doing, whether it be server, storage, networking, and they would deal with a lot of that complexity because they were they, they became to know it and they were familiar with it. Today, with the pressure on cost and to get more done with less, that's not acceptable anymore. Sending people to training for two weeks to get ramped up in certifications is not going to work, and that's where we come in and saying, you know what, they don't, these systems don't have to be that complex. We can deliver a simpler experience by focusing on who are the key users, and you know, today's world, sometimes it's the operations team, but it's also, uh, in many cases, developers now, and, and using our systems and wanting to get things out of them more quickly without the, the, the complexity. And also a lot of our executive uh, customers, they need to know how much am I spending, where's my utilization, all those kinds of things. So first and foremost, you have to know who your users are, and then secondly, you have to know what their needs are. And this sounds simple, but so often those two get overlooked and it's like, okay, let's go build the next fastest thing. And that doesn't work for a lot of the, the, the markets that we're competing in now. So instead we take an approach, we focus on users and their needs, and then we deliver us uh, an experience that has just enough to meet those needs. So we reduce the complexity. A lot of our device, a lot of our applications we're building today, uh, one of them we just announced a little bit ago is Project New Stack, we're super excited about. Think of consuming a hybrid cloud environment on your mobile phone. As, as an executive, you can look in there, and on your mobile device on the go, you can see what you're spending, you can see what the utilizations are, you can make sure you're on track for your budgets and your, your business needs right from there. As a developer, if you're needing to deploy something quick or you're, you're um, away from the office and need to respond, you can do that on your device as well. And of course, it's equally beautiful and usable on a, on a big mobile screen at your desk as well. Um, but we certainly met those needs in a variety of form factors in a way that's it's actually quite different from what you've expected out of a server company or a network company or a storage company compared to the last five, 10 years. So one of the things you talked about is, is uh, user expectations and, and meeting their needs. What about the, uh, how do you address the, the idea that there are probably some people that would prefer the command line to a, a neat GUI experience? Yeah, absolutely, I'm really glad you asked that question. Knowing who your users are and what their needs are means that like for, for, for example a developer, their needs may not be using a UI at all. They might drive it all through APIs or through a command line and that's perfectly acceptable for us. We want to provide them the interface that they need and that's why projects like uh, the Synergy platform and OneView have a full API that they can access to do automation because they need to do that. Newstack, again, coming to that, it will have a full API where they can interact with their um, CI/CD systems, they can do automation and meet their needs. But when they do that, if their manager wants to come in and see what's going on through the UI, it'll all directly reflect what they've been doing. So they're not disconnected systems, but that comes back again, knowing your users and what their needs are, and their needs aren't always a pretty UI. As much as we like building them, that's not always the right tool for the, for the job. So you're, so you're providing the APIs for people who are actually doing the, the, let's call it the real work, and, and then uh, you're kind of providing a reporting layer for the people who need to know what's going on. Yeah, and we've even heard, <clears throat> that, that's a fair summary, but we've even heard some users who are just getting familiar with our platforms, they'll start with the UI just to get familiar with it and understand what's available, and then as they want to say, okay, now I need to do this 10 times or 100 times or every night or every day, whatever it happens to be, then they'll go to automation. So there's even cases where specific users will do, use different interfaces depending on what their needs are at that point in time. So kind of the combination of both is what we're really triggering, is making sure for the right scenario we've got the right capabilities there and making it easy for them to consume. And that's really this, what we've in fact called it like the, the consumer grade experience for the enterprise and really driving that consumer experience that you and I get, you know, getting a cab these days is a very different experience than it used to be a few years ago. Sure and, and that's what we're, we're changing the experience for enterprises in, in a very similar, disrupting that in a very similar way. Very nice, thanks Brock. You bet, thank you.